I first want to say that I love thank you Joe Bear I first want to say that I love you love you guys from the bottom of my heart I do with that unconditional beautiful extraordinary God given love that is inside of me I, I love you just like that just like that I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to figure something with this hair one day I'm gonna figure something with this hair yes yes oh thank you chef Oh, we love you too, darling. Yes, thank you, Joe. I'm telling you, I do. So I love you from the bottom of my heart. I hope you have an extraordinary day. I hope you're feeling love this day because you deserve to be loved. You deserve to feel love. I'm telling you, you do, you do, you do. Don't let anybody tell you any different. Don't let anyone treat you any different or show you any different from what it is. Yeah. Yes, you guys, you guys give me life. Do you not see it? When you come through, you just give me life. Hello? I'm dumb loud. You just give me light, you do. Black Rose, hey love. Cause you guys are everything. You're everything to me. Everything. I said you're everything to me. You're everything to me. You guys make me so happy, you do. I'm telling you when I'm not with you, I, I go like crazy. I'm like, I'm like, okay Candy, what are you doing? And like I, I don't have nobody to love on because it's just me here. So when I when I get with you guys, thank you, Voodoo. Thank you. Hi, Black Rose. You guys make me so excited and so happy. And I love to love. And then I could just love on you because you come through, and it just just feels good. It does. Thank All right. So we're talking about the new you. Did you even know, like a present, that you was going to be new? Did you know that you was, like, sitting under the tree, like, with all this wrapping paper, like, so ready to be something else? <laughs> you didn't even know. How could you possibly not be taken? I would be honored to have a lady with your type of love. Ah, I appreciate that, Joe Bear. So, we're talking about a new you. What do you mean? I'm not new. I'm the same ass person that I was from the beginning. Not, not, maybe, maybe not all the same characteristics. Maybe not the same attitude. But I'm technically, I'm the same person. I mean, I'm going on 37 years. And I'm just saying that I'm the same. Well, I got something to tell you guys. You need to begin to step into the new you. That's what I'm talking about. Hey? It's, a, it's, it's a new you. You know when you get something new or you have like a present and you're excited because it's a new thing. You get to open it. You get to see it. Nilo, hey love. Newbie in class. Hey love. I'm telling you, it's a new thing. Wouldn't it be absolutely like freaking extraordinary if you thought about that for yourself? Hey love. Do you hear me? Like the new thing that you're waiting for when you get like I mean, I'm just saying, when you get like a new outfit, you get new kicks, you get new whatever that you get. Kayla, Kaya, hey, Balor, thank you, love. Thank you for being a fan. You get something new, it's just, it just feels good. When you wear it, it just feels good. It's like, oh, did you, oh, you got a new hairdo today? Oh, you got a new cut? You got a fresh haircut? You got a, you got a new hairstyle? Whatever it may be, you got new clothes? You got a new car? It just feels good, right? Come on, love. Let's be real. So today I'm talking about something new. And guess what? I'm talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about you, a new you. You know, whenever you like, Rhonda, hey love, whenever you like, you know you can become and step into a new you. Did you know that? You have the power to day by day step into and step into your abilities to change who you are. And I'm not talking about completely. Let's not even get so hard. We don't even got to go that deep. I'm not talking about completely and everything, but just one new addict can change the course of your journey. One new you can change the course of your journey. You know that you're great. Do you know that you're absolutely extraordinary? You are extraordinary without anything. I'm going to say that one more time. You are absolutely extraordinary without anything. I know that you've been through some things and maybe some people tried to lie to you about it and they made you try to feel a different way. Go ahead, Black Diamond. They made you feel a different way, but guess what? 
You are extraordinary all by yourself. No, it wasn't the relationship that you was in. It's not even your children. It's not even your partners, whether it's your spouse, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever it may be. It's not even them. Thank you, Black Diamond. It's something more than that. What can be more valuable than my family? Yes, love. Thank you, Black Diamond. <laughs> Thank you, beautiful. Thank you, love. What can be more than my family? What can be more than the material things that I owe? What can be more everything that is in you? The essence of you, who you are, what you stand for, your value, your worth. That's what it is. I'm talking about you being the new you. You can change it anytime. If you don't like, I'm learning more self-love. That's what we need, Black Diamond. And self-love is a place that we can sit there, hey Chi, and we can sit there and start reflecting on ourselves to see, am I good enough? Am I valuable? Am I worthy? And we begin to take notes down to understand who we are. Am I worth this thing that's so hard that I'm striving for? Hey, miss. Akira. Uh, Akira. Hi, Miss Akira. Hey, love. Can I can I work? Is it is it is it is it am I, am I good enough to work through this hard thing that I'm dealing with? Am I valuable enough? I need to see how valuable I am. I need to not even just see it, but can I feel it in my bones that everything that I deal with, I know that I have value to everything that I touch. I know that I add value to every relationship that I'm in. Come on. Thank you. And that's what I'm talking about with the new you. I'm not worried about what is on the outside. What I'm worried about is what's on the inside. And that's what I'm talking about with a new you. I'm not talking about the clothes that you wear. I'm not talking about a new hairstyle. I'm not talking about a new, a new car. I'm not talking about none of that. I'm talking about a new you on the outside because that's what matters. That's what matters. I'm going to be greater than I was yesterday. I'm going to be greater than I was before because I understand that I'm going somewhere. I understand that I'm more valuable than this. I understand that there's something greater that I'm dealing with. That's why I'm having all this trouble. I mean, everywhere I look, everywhere I turn around, I feel this trouble. But now I'm going to come to a place to understand why. I'm understanding why I'm going through this trouble because I'm worth something. I'm going to have the right attitude. Because I understand I got to go through this. I'm going through this because I'm worth something. You know how we always say, if you don't got haters, then you, this, you, you're doing something wrong. If you ain't got haters, then you are doing something wrong. Because haters are there to remind you that you're on the right track. Thank you, Emperor. Haters are there to remind you you are on the right track because there is something that they want. There is something that intimidates them. There is something that the hater envies. Now, I ain't, I mean, we might think our, our haters are a little bit ignorant, but they ain't that ignorant that they liking something that there's no value in. Come on now. They talk about you. They try to mistreat you. They try to abuse you, slander your name, talk all this gossip, say all these things, try to discourage you. Your haters, come on, Emperor, your haters see something that they like. They see a quality. There's something in you that they are. There's something in you that they desire. There's something in you that they envy. Hey, John, hey, love. There's something in you that you desire. There's something in you that they envy. They are intimidated by your actions. Tatilla, hey, love, hey, Swiss. They are intimidated by your actions. They're intimidated about who you are. I need to care. I talk about you so much. Haters talk about you so much because they want to be you. 
there is something that you have that they do not possess. Tertella in love. I love you. I love you. Thank you, Sunflower. There's something inside of you that they do not possess. And if I can't have it, this is a hater. If I can't have it, then I might as well be against it because me standing next to you. I want you to think about this. Your hater standing next to you cannot even come close to compare of who you are. Your hater cannot even come close to compare to you about who you are. So if they can't be you, if they can't be you, if you intimidate them, then I might as well try to take you down. That's what the haters are doing. You have something in you that they want. You have, thank you, Black Diamond. I love when you guys comment. Thank you, Emperor. Uh, thank you, Black Diamond. You guys tap the screen and share the live. Hey, Miguel. Hey, love. You have something in you that they want. And remember that, yes, yes, Black Diamond, is something that they talk about in the word that says covet. Do not covet somebody else. Because you know what? At the end of the day, your haters wouldn't last a day or a second. We're talking about haters. There's something in you that they want. There is something in you that there is something in you that they need. And when a hater, you understand that there is something that you're doing right. When you have haters, they're there to encourage you because you remember energy is energy, whether it's good, whether it's positive or negative. So I take my haters energy and I use it for my good. I'm going to stand around and make sure that something happens to you because, because, because I, I, I can't stand you intimidate me. When you sit there and you listen to the haters and you hear them, they're around you. There's something that you're doing that they want. There's an ability in you that they desire. They desire things of you. They desire things of your essence. Your essence is the very thing that they're hating on. Listen, listen, I'm going to get a little bit deep for you. They don't just hate you. They hate the very things that you carry. They hate the very abilities that you have been gifted with. They hate millionaire. Thank you, love. They hate the very thing that you, your abilities, the essence of you. It's not you. It's something in you that they cannot buy. There's something in you that they cannot possess. And this is why they are the way they are. But I understand if I'm doing something right. Listen to me. Brad, hey love. I understand that if I'm doing something right. Domino, thank you love. I understand that if I'm doing something right, I'm gonna have haters. I have to have haters. I made it. Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, yes love, you did. I understand that I need to have haters. Because it's telling me that I'm on the right track. If you are in a life and you do not feel adversity and you do not feel heartache and you do not feel struggle and you do not feel growing pains, I got something to tell you. That means you got to get up and start the new you. That means you got to get up, move, motivate yourself to start walking in the new you. Because it means everything. It means everything to you. It means everything to your journey. It means everything to your world. Do you hear me? Every single thing that you are trying to do, that's what it means. Every part of your destiny that you're trying to reach, that's what it is. But if we're putting the effort in understanding what the outcome brings, then it's going to be just a little bit more easier for me. You can step in a new you. Hey, King Kwam. Hey, love. Yes. Thank you, love. You can step into the new you without anything on the outside. 
You are so worthy in who you are and what you stand for that you, you yourself can come to a place. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Miss Sopar. Hey, love. You can come to a place where you're able to understand that I am everything I need. Do you see that? I am everything that I need. All I need is a new perception. All I need is a new understanding to who I am. All I need is to begin to love myself just a little bit more. Candy, did you say just a little bit more? Just a little bit more. Day by day, you will continue to begin to grow in yourself and your self-love for you and understand that the things that you have experienced, the things that you went through, the things that you had to deal with were just all a part of growing, but they are not who I am. I will not, come on, step into the new you. I will not, I will no longer begin to relate myself to what I've been through. I will no longer to begin to identify myself with the traumas that I've been through in my life. I will no longer identify myself with the toxic relationship that I just came out of. I will no longer begin to identify myself with all my bad experiences. Because I understand that's not who I am. That is what I had to go through, but it's not who I am. That is what I had to experience, but it's not who I am. I don't care how many times you push me back into that abusive relationship and you want to remind me and you want to relate that to me, but it's not who I am. I'm stepping in my new me. I'm stepping in my new me, recognizing and seeing and understanding that there is something more. You will not attach me. Thank you, Royal. You will not attach me to the experiences that I was. You're not even going to attach me to the old person that I was before. That old person that I was before, guess what? Candy doesn't live there anymore. So you're going to go look for me in that old address and you ain't going to find me because I'm stepping into my new me. That's what we're talking about today. The new you. The you that you have been purposed to be. The you that when you're happy and you have joy and you have peace. The you that the Most High has called you to be. That new is what I'm talking about. Not what your mama said you are. Not what your daddy said you are. Not what your grandparents said you are. Not what your boss that's a hater said you are. Not what your best friend that betrayed you and treated you like dirt said you are. Not, not, not your family members that's supposed to love you said that you wasn't worth it. I'm talking about, hey Balboa, I'm talking about the new you that the most high sees every time he lays his eyes on you I'm talking about that part thank you loyal thank you Marvin I'm talking about that part the new you not somebody else's identity that you wear because they told you when you was ignorant not somebody's identity that you wear that they told you when you had low self esteem Thank you, Balboa. Thank you, love. Not that identity. Do you hear me? Thank you, chef. Not that identity that somebody that hated you told you that you was. And you've been wearing that damn identity for about 10 years. Take the sticker off. That's not who it is. It says, hello, my name is my new me. I am the new me. I am the new candy. I am the new, let me, let me go down the list. I am the new reek. I am the new Chi Chi. I'm the new Balboa. I am the new black diamond. I am the new gorgeous. I'm the new tortilla. I am the new king. I'm the new bold. I am the new sun. I am Roje. I am sports freak, royal, chef, jazzy, king, emperor, jasmine, kelly, kim, kane, twin girl, kd, brit, limited, k, everlasting. That's the new me. Samuel, jasmine, I'm not wearing the sticker that is torn anymore that says, hello, my name is abuse. Hello.
Hello, my name is discouraged. Hello, my name is low quality. Hello, my name is devalued. Hello, my name is I can't. I'm telling you, I am more. I am more than that old crusty ass label that you're putting on me. I am so much more than that. I'm no longer going to identify myself with the crusty hello my name is label that you're giving me. I'm going to step into my new me. I'm going to step into what I'm supposed to be. I'm going to step into the person that, that my children are supposed to have. I'm going to step into the person that I deserve to be. I'm going to step in. And I'm going to become my new me. And I'm going to take that old label off that says this is hello, my name is, whatever you want to fill in the blank in. And I'm going to fill the blank in myself now. It's my time. It's my time. You go, hey Michi, you go on down and you have a seat now because you had me wearing that label for the past 15, 20, 10 years, 5 years. It's a new day. And I'm walking through because this is a new me. Do you hear me? It's a new me and I'm standing for me. I got my pack of stickers that say hello, this is. I got my new pack of stickers and I got my pen to write whatever I choose that I should be. No longer will you fill in the blank. It's my time now. I'm going to step into the new me and my new me, those stickers, I'm, I just got something to say to you king and queens, those stickers don't have an expiration date. Yes, come on, Emperor. It's your season. Those stickers don't have an expiration date. Don't try to fool yourself because we can be our worst enemy. Don't try to fool yourself to say it's too late for me to change, Candy. I got too many kids now. Man, I, I'm divorced. I'm a, I, I'm, I'm a widow. I, I'm... I'm a, I'm telling, no, it's not, there is no expiration date on the stickers that say, hello, my name is. I don't want to hear the excuses that you're talking about. I want to hear something different. Don't tell me that you have kids. Don't tell me that you don't have money. Don't tell me that you have low self-esteem. Don't tell me that you love yourself. No more excuses. Step into the new you. Step into the person that you have been created to be. Listen carefully of what I said. I didn't say that the person, I said who you've been created to be. I didn't say who they made you be. I didn't say who they taught you you were. say who the generation said you should be I said step into who the creator has made you to be that's what I said yes you better go ahead that's what I'm talking about all right ID 43 I was a drug addict for 33 years but I'm a king now you know what love you was always a king. It's just your perception didn't let you see your crown. Those drugs didn't let you see your crown. But now that you're no longer uh, bonded to it, now that you're no longer in bondage to it, you can see your crown, love. You was always a king. And do not let anybody tell you any different. I don't care what you did in those 33 years. You was always a king. But it's something about the world that loves to change our perception of ourselves. Yes, millionaire. Thank you, love. I love when you guys comment. Cash, thank you for my task, Balboa. Yes. Miss Pressure, amen. Oh my God. Yes, Nika. Hey, love. The come up king. I love you, King Rose. Yes. Come on, ID. Was always a king. 
My queens, you was always a queen. It's just that sticker that somebody gave you that you thought was you. You know, they have the stickers all on the table and you picked up whichever one they chose for you to be. But we're, thank you Cash, we're gonna get into a new place because I'm gonna step into the new me. You know what, and I don't need your money. Come on, let's go there. I don't need your money. I don't need your, I don't need your favors. I don't need your encouragement. I don't need your words. I don't need your love. I don't need anything to become the new me. Because I'm done with that now. I'm tired of living every single identity that you want to throw on me. Because it's not going to work anymore. I have understand who I am. I got self-love for me. I know my value and I know my worth. You can never change the sticker on my ID now. You are not going to fill in the blank because guess what? It's already occupied. <laughs> you can't fill in the blank to hello my name is because it's already occupied. It's already filled in. I am self-love. My name is queen. My name is king. My name is great. My name is extraordinary. My name is amazing. My name is powerful. My name is abundant. My name is increase. My name is blessings. My name is unconditional love. It's occupied. You can't write on my sticker anymore. I ain't wearing your damn tags anymore. Unfortunately for you, I know my identity now. You cannot control me anymore. You cannot take advantage of me anymore. Guess what? You can't abuse me anymore. It's different now. That person that you're looking for that you knew don't live there anymore. I don't live at that address, that old me that you're looking for. You better go back to the crack house. You better go back to the school. You better go back to the ex-boyfriend's house, ex-girlfriend's house. You better go back to that low place to go look for that thing. Come on now. Hey, lady. You better go back to... Um, Listen to what I have to say. You better go back to that place that's abandoned. You better go back to that place where nobody lives. You better go back there and try to look for them because I'm the new me now. I'm the new me now. You will not find me at that address. You won't find me on the corner anymore. Come on. You're going to look for me and I will not be there. I love Madagascar. You're going to look for me and I will not be there. I won't be there anymore because I'm in a new place. I'm in a place of value. I'm in a place of worth. I'm in a new place. I'm in a new world right now. I'm in the life and that more abundantly that the Most High has called me to be in. And if you are not living your life and more abundantly, then you ain't going to find me. Did you hear what I'm saying? I am the new me, so I will not stoop anymore to get to where you're at. You're finding me in the crack house. You're looking for me in the low place because that's where you live. But I'm sorry, I changed my address. I don't live there anymore. You're able to search for me. You're able to get the GPS on me. Come on. Yes. Thank you, loves. Tep. Teflon and lady, thank you. Oh, I love you. Oh, thank you, pressure. The whole D highs loves you. Oh, you guys, you're gonna make me steal you away. You're gonna make me go in. I love y'all. I do. You guys don't understand a place of uh, metaphors. Yes, Bo, come on. I love when you guys comment. Oh, the bees. Yes, I love you guys. I do. Yes. Oh, I do. I do. Okay. Southern BBW. Thank you, love. You were able to find me there because it's the low place. You're looking for me in my old address. You're trying to find the old me. You're trying to find the old me. Yes. Thank you, lady. I appreciate that. I do. I do. Oh, glory to the most high. 
uh, they got the good stuff. Come on, Lexa, yes. You are God's gift to us, Candy. Thank you, Miss Pressure. You are restoring so many hearts. That, that's It's crazy. Oh, don't make me cry. Thank you, love. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Katisha, I think I said it right. I love you. Let me stop distracting, lady. I'm listening. No, you're totally fine. I love when you guys comment. Great afternoon to you. I'm telling you right now, I'm living, I'm in my new me, that I'm living life and that more abundantly. Kanisha. Kanisha! <laughs> yes, love. Hey, Kanisha. So nice to see you again. Yes, see? No, it's good for you to know how to break it down to make it easy for me. So you get credit on that. So wonderful to you, love. So nice to see you. I'm telling you, so I'm living, I'm in my new me. I'm living life in that more abundantly. But I, I, I ain't finding you in the crack house no more, Candy. I ain't finding you in fornicating no more, Candy. I'm not finding you on the corner selling things, Candy, hustling. I, don't, I, I haven't found you in a place that I know that you was. Well, you're looking for my old me. And you're able to, here we go, you're able to look for my old me in that address because you're still there. That's for all the haters. That's for all the haters. You are looking for me and you can't find me because I don't live there anymore. The way for you to get on my level and for me to see you is you have to be living life in that more abundantly. Do you see that? You have to be living life in that more abundantly to even be on my level for us to even speak. You're trying to find me in that place because you still live there. You remember the address that I forgot because you still live next door. Come on, hot show. Hey, love. Yeah, girl, I love you. I do. Yes, thank you, 285. Let's take. Beer, thank you. Thank you, love. Yes. Oh, thank you, you guys. Pauline, I'm telling you, this is good. Okay, let's take. I'm in my new me. That's what we're talking about. I got excited when I got on this live because I came to inform you that you are going to be your new you. And I came to let you know that you don't have to get anything from the outside to do it. What, Candy? I didn't miss it. You didn't miss a thing. It's time for you to walk in your new you where you're living life and that more abundantly. The people can't get to me. They're still looking for my old me. They're still looking for the things I used to do. They're still looking for the way I used to talk. They're still looking for the attitude that I used to have. But I, it's not there anymore. Yeah, but you don't even call me because now that I'm in a place of life and that more abundantly, I speak to people that live in a life and that more abundantly. Come on now. My connections have a like mind. Go ahead, about boy. No number, who this? Who this? No number, who this? You talking about the same stuff and you can't get through because I'm no longer in that place. Come on, about boy. She hit it right there, right? No number, who this? Who this? Who this? How'd you get my number? Oh, who? Candy who? That's not my name. I don't even know that person anymore. Well, you damn sure sound like Candy. Well, I damn sure ain't living like Candy used to live. And I could sound the same, but I ain't the same. I might have the same voice, but I am not the same as I was in the low place. I am not the same as I was in the valley. I'm just a little bit different or maybe I should say a lot more different than I was no oh are you surprised because you can't take advantage of me anymore are you surprised because you cannot abuse me anymore are you surprised because you can't mistreat me anymore is that what it is are you surprised that somebody snatched their power back is that your issue is that why you have a problem ah uh. You're no longer in control. I found myself. I found my identity. It's no longer yours. That's why you have the issue. Okay. I would be mad too. 
I would be mad too. Because you had two lives at once because you was making me live a whole other ass life that you wanted me to live. I wasn't living my own. I would be mad too if I had, I lost two, I had a whole ass another life that somebody else was living for me and I get to control them to do whatever I want. I, yeah, I'd be upset too. And I sure enough would have saved that address and that phone number to make sure I could continue to take advantage of you. But not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> I, if, it's a sermon if you want it to be. Whatever's going to help you change your life. Those areas are pretty. Thank you, Kanisha. Rainy. Hey, love. Nice to know you. Yes, Gemini. Nice to know you too. That's not me anymore. I'm living this life and that more abundantly. Now I really care about the identity of the people that try to identify me. Oh, thank you, Most High. I'm in a place of life and that more abundantly that I care about the identity of the people that are trying to identify me. Because your identity, come on, here we go. Your identity tells me if you're an abuser. Your identity tells me if you're trying to take advantage of me. Your identity will tell me that you are a betrayer. Your identity will tell me that you are a lover with conditions. Not unconditional love, but a lover with conditions. Your identity will tell me that you're a cheater. Your identity will tell me that you're a leech. So now I care about the identity of the people that come across me because what I got to give is too worthy and what I'm living in is too blessed that I can't just give it freely to everybody. I'm getting a little cocky about myself because it was too long that I was devalued and it was too long that I walked in who I wasn't, who I wasn't supposed to be. Come on now. Yes, Lurk, let's not judge others. You test the spirit by the fruit. And that's exactly what I'm talking about, Lurk. So I understand what your identity is because I tested your fruit. And if your fruit is rotten, I ain't dealing with it. I don't need to be the judge of anybody. I just need to govern my own life with the most high ruling it before me. I love when people try to come at what I'm saying because I got a word for you. <laughs> The Most High is on my side, so I'll ever have a word for you. That's not judgment I'm talking about. The word says test the fruit to see if it's good. And I'm testing it and I'm seeing that you're a cheater. And I'm testing and seeing that you're a liar. I don't got to judge you if I walk away. That's not judging. That's me being smart about who I am and what my value is. Hypnotism. Hey, love. Debbie God. Speak true. Come on, Cash. Come on. HBIC. Hey, love. Man, let me see your eyes without your frames. Then identify. Yes. You want to see me? Hi. Hey, loves. I'm like, I'm hot. You guys got me hot. But it's okay. Because I'm hype. <laughs> it's okay because I'm hype. Do you see that? So I, I'm going to begin, I care about myself enough and what I'm attached to and all this stuff that I work for and all this suffering. Remember, a mind to suffer is to go through the things that the Most High has called you to go through and without complaining with long suffering because I know there's a reward at the end. Queen, thank you for being a fan. I know that there's a reward at the end. Sports freak, I love you. So now that I know my value, my jewels are too precious to give out freely. I'm going to understand who you are before I begin to accept you in my circle. I'm going to begin to understand and really figure out what you have to offer me before I let you around my circle. Around my children, around my family, around my co-workers, around my boss, anybody around me in society. I'm going to let you know I'm going to do some testing. I'm going to do some research. Because I'm not giving everything that I am freely anymore. No, I know you're calling me for the thing that I used to give away freely that was so valuable. But, but that's not happening anymore because I found my worth. 
Come on. That's not thank you, love. That's not dope. Hey, love. I, I, that's not that's not who I am. And it, it's not me anymore. I'm not doing it. Stop coming to accept the free things. It's closed. The pantry is closed. <laughs> the pantry is closed. There ain't nothing free over here anymore. It's nothing free. There's no part of my mind that is vacant for you to occupy anymore. Come on. The pantry is closed. It's closed. I don't know what to tell you. You better come back another day. You better find another location because I found my value and worth that you will no longer prostitute my, my goods. You will no longer prostitute the essence of me. It's not going to happen anymore. I will not allow you, Queen and A-Love, I will not allow you to, pro to, to prostitute my essence, my jewels, my abilities, my worth. You're not going to do it anymore. You're not going to do it anymore. You're not going to steal the very things. Escobar, I love. You're not going to steal the very things that are so valuable and so worthy that I carry. You're not allowed to do that anymore. It's not going to work. I am stepping into the new me. I'm going to leave, lead with my value and lead with my worth. Yes. I'm going to lead with my value. I'm going to lead with my worth. I'm going to lead with who I truly am. And I'm not going to stoop low anymore. I have everything I need to be my new me. I will not allow anybody to identify me by the things that I have experienced. I will not allow me any, anyone to identify me with the things that they think I should be. I will not allow anybody to identify me anymore with the thing that they want me to be. I will not allow it because it's not who I am. I will find my purpose. I will walk in my gifts. I will begin to understand my value and my worth. I will receive every single blessing that is meant for me and not who you want me to be. I will do it because I am changing into the new me. I understand that it doesn't have anything to do with an expiration date. I didn't miss my time. I don't care how much you say, well, you're too old for that. You don't have enough money for that. Oh, but what about your kids? Oh, yeah, but what about your family? Where you live, they ain't going to allow you to do that. Well, your job, I don't want to hear none of that because guess what? When I walk into who I'm supposed to be, the Most High will align the stars for me as I live in Him and He lives in me. He will begin to move some things and make some things expedited he's gonna expedite some things in my life that'll make it seem like I've been doing this for 10 years Ooh. ah that part that part he's gonna make it seem and he's gonna make me feel like I've been living this new me for the last 20 years that's why I don't look like what I've been through he's preserving this face for the great things that he has in store for me ahead. He's going to expedite some things for me because he loves me and I love him. And I truly love him that he said, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. You ever heard of the miracle that Hannah had a baby at, at almost a hundred years old? Like what? Had her first child, was barren. That's what we're walking in. We are barren because we chose to attach ourselves to identities that people told us we were. Yes, love. Of identities that people told us we were. We are barren. We can't carry nothing. We cannot birth anything. Not our goals, not our dreams. We just feel stagnant. Why? Because we have attached ourselves to the identities of what people said that we are will be. We didn't step into who we are supposed to be as the most I said. We begin to live a whole ass other dream of what somebody else missed. Oh, don't let me get deep there. 
Because our parents decided to live a life and they missed on their dreams, they piled it on yours. So now you are attached to the identity and the dream that your parents want, but not who you are. And you're wondering why you're barren. You're wondering why you can't carry nothing. You wonder why you always feel like life is against you. You wonder why I always feel like life is in fear. I got the short end of the stick is because you're barren. You cannot carry anything. Because the more, come on blue eyes. Because the most high says, I don't know who, I don't know you. Oh, we're going to go there. Okay. All right, Most High. As the Most High said, Vasquez, hey, love. The Most High says, I don't know you. I'm reading your name tag, but that's not what I call you. That's not the name that I gave you. I'm a little bit confused because that name that you have on your chest, it reminds me of your past relationship. Did they give you that name? From what I know is I created you, so how can they tell you who you are? Oh, oop, oop, that part. Thank you, Britt. Thank you, Vasquez. I don't know you. The Most High is looking at you and you're praying for some things and you're asking him to come down, open the heavens for me. I need a blessing with room enough that I cannot receive. And again, he's what he's saying, who is this? Thank you, Pressure. He's saying, who is calling my name? I, 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 the voice sounds familiar, but the, the name is not the same. I don't know you. Phoenix, say love. I don't know you. I don't know who you are. You're wondering why you're barren is because you are attached to the identities of, that people have given you over the years. So I'm asking you now, my king and queens, to strip that identity that is not you and begin to walk in your new you. And the blessings are going to begin to come where you're going to start being fruitful. You're going to start to multiply in all areas of your life, mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. Walk into who you truly was called to be. Walk into who you truly was called to be and you'll start seeing things work for you not changing your sexual preference because somebody told you it was wrong not saying that you not changing who you are because you feel like you're going to hell because you're not going to church not all these damn traditions and lies that have been taught to us for generations it's time to wake up It is time to wake up. Do you hear me? Snap back into who you are. Go ahead, snatch that waist, and you better start walking in what you're supposed to walk in. Do you hear me? Yes, blue eyes. Yes, Phoenix. Let's go. Walk into your physical body that you're supposed to be. Walk into the mental state that you're supposed to be in. Walk into that place, in that physical place that you're supposed to be in. Walk in that emotional place that you're supposed to be in. Walk in that spiritual place that you're supposed to be in. Then you're going to realize that you are not barren anymore. What happened? I never, nothing ever worked out for me. Now all of a sudden, this door's opening, that door's opening. I'm finding money here, money's coming from there. I got a new position, I got this happening, I got this. I'm starting my own business. I, I, I'm, I'm eating healthy, I'm, I'm living right. I, I got things, it's happening for me. Because the Most High sees you. And he says, that's my king. And the Most High sees you and says, that's my queen. That's my king that never folds because he understands who he is. And that's my queen that understands her strength and she'll push through. That's my king that doesn't allow anybody to take his divine masculinity. And that's my queen right there. I see you now. I see you wearing your crown, standing steadfast in all the adversity. I'm going to do something for you. That's what I'm talking about. Step into your new you. And you know what's crazy? I'm going to tell you a secret. 
The reason why I said being your new you, you don't need anything. Is because your new you has been your original you all the time. Wait, Candy, you're about to blow my mind. Your new you is the you that was created in your mother's womb. Not the you that was birthed and went by traditions and what the world taught you to be. It gets deep just like that. The new you is what the creator has called you to be. The new you is what... Wow, you got me thinking. Right, Carmela? Yes, I love this message. Right. The new you... Hey, Sunflower, thank you, love. Thank you, everybody that gifted me. If I didn't get to shout you out, you know I didn't mean to. I love you. Phoenix, pressure, pleasure, pressure, pleasure, pressure, 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 and love. Um, the new you is who you was when you, before you was created in your mother's womb. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> the new you is the original person that was created in your mother's womb. I love you, Phoenix. Right? It was when the world got their clothes on you and they had their hands on you. Thank you, Blue Eyes. And had their hands on you to able to grab you and mold you the way they wanted to to say that you need to love this sex and say that you can't live like this and say that you can't dress like this and say that you can't be creative like you want to be and say that you have to be in this job because you got to make money and said that you have to do all these things that was going against who your real nature was Now that you come to a place to step into the new you, you recognize that the new you was who you was from the beginning. And I'm gonna get a little bit deeper before I finish. Yes, King, bring it out. Come, Queen. Yes, Balboa, I feel you. I feel you, so here we go. We're gonna get just a little bit deeper before I finish this. The new you, Black Hill of Jayla, thank you, beautiful, yes, thank you, love. The new you was the you from the beginning. I'm going to step back into the labels. I want you guys to catch this. You didn't recognize that every label that somebody was changing that said, hello, my name is. They kept changing the label, changing the label, changing the label, changing the label. You're not the label. I need to, in order for me to use that label, I got to put it on someone. You are still the same you. Every single time you was changing your perception of yourself. You were still the same you that was looking in the mirror that was broken. You thought you was broken. But when you see a mirror that's broken, it does not mean that you are. Whenever you break a mirror and you see that it's broken. Hey, Curtis, I love the truth. When you see a mirror and it's broken. You don't run to the hospital and say, oh, help me. I'm broken. I'm going to start bleeding. Do you do that? You don't because you are still the same you whether the mirror is broken or not. Throughout the years that your identity was changed on that sticker, it never changed that you were you. Only the label did. That's why I'm telling you the new you has always been you. You just had the wrong perception. You had the wrong perception. So I got some news for you today before I get off of this thing. You will change your perception today. You will walk in your new you. 
And why did I say that you don't need anything to be a new you? Because, because, because you have been your new you all along. But your perception was just wrong. So now that you got people getting off the jaws of life on your identity and you done cut those damn hands off for telling you who you supposed to be and now that you're walking into who you are, I'm telling you, begin to change your perception as you walk in your new you. Change your address. Start living a life that is worth living. Start living a life and that more abundantly. I will no longer attach or allow people to attach their mess on me. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to go there anymore. I know my value. I know my worth. And I'm going to move forward in what has been called for me. And guess what? I got a, <clears throat> I got a little secret for you. The Most High loved me so much that when I step in my new me and I begin to put him priority in my life and I love him and keep his commandments, guess what? I got a little secret. Maybe a lot of people don't know about it, but I'm just going to give it to you, king and queens. He will expedite every single thing that you feel like you missed. That very goal that you say, I'm too old for that. There's too much going on. That very dream. Vassy, thank you, love. It's finally something worth watching. Thank you, love. Thank you, everybody who's being a fan. Right, deep, right, Cash? Amen, 285. Thank you, love. I love when you guys comment. Thank you, I needed this. He will begin. We get scared like I missed out a lot. I should have did this when I was young. The most high can do anything. Right? You're going to begin to change your perception. You're not going to be logical because you know who you serve. I can't be logical. Come on now. Thank you, blue eyes. I can't be logical because, because I know who I serve. I, he's going to expedite some things and it's going to feel like I've been doing it for 20 years. I'm no longer focused on the things I lost. I'm focused on the things that I'm supposed to be in because I understand my destiny is too great. I understand that my destiny is too great. That he has to. Thank you, Curtis. Thank you, love. Oh, King, I appreciate you. The Most High has to do it for me because he called it. And he is not a man that he should lie. So I'm not worried about time anymore. I'm worried about walking in now that I know who I truly am. I'm worried about walking in. Thank you, 285. All glory to the Most High. I, I'm worried. I'm worried about walking in and moving forward in what he has called for my life. Oh, thank you, Carmela. You deserve it, love. You deserve it, love. Step into the new you. You deserve it 5,000, 100 million, trillion times percent. You deserve it. You've been through too much, King. And you've been through too much, Queen. The Most High has not called you to live a life of struggle. I'm just going to say this before I get off this live. The Most High has not called you to live a life of struggle. How can you say that you're of royalty and of a God being and full of energy and you're a king and you're a queen and you're living in struggle? You have to be doing something wrong. And I do, and I'm telling you right now. Do not fold and do not take the lie that says this is life. Do not believe the lie. I don't want to hear it anymore, king and queens. Do not believe the hype. Do not believe the false statements, the false experiences. That's not it. Bold, yes. 
This is life, struggle, hard knock life. You better erase that from your mind. You didn't even know they was conditioning you to you believe that you are supposed to, that life is supposed to be hard knock. Life is supposed to be struggle. Life is supposed to be stress. Life is supposed to have abuse. That's what they have you thinking while you run around skiing. Oh, it's a hard knock life for us. You are speaking it into the atmosphere. You are welcoming the very thing that you're not supposed to have. He said you will live a, lo- a life of, come on McBride, they love. You, you said that you will live a life of peace that surpasses understanding. He said you will live a life with unconditional love. He said you will live a life of happiness. Not just happy sometimes, happiness, constantly happy. That's what he said, you will live a life of joy. I am not saying I'm living a hard knock life because I'll be damned to get rid of the very thing that the Most High has called me to walk in that is blessing me. Don't believe the hype. Because the hype is a fear. The hype is fear. False evidence appearing real. Everywhere I look, somebody's struggling, so life must be a struggle. Everywhere I turn, it's, it's, it's hard. It's hard. People can't make it. I mean, we got to sell drugs or we got to dance for people or entertain people in order for my people to make it. Oh, life is a struggle. You know, racism, this thing happens. Everybody's getting shot in justice. I may be speaking a little bit too much truth for some people, but what I'm trying to say is that don't believe the hype because it's fear. It's false evidence appearing real. That is not what your life has been called for. Your life hasn't been called for struggle because when I hear life and that more abundantly, I don't hear struggle. I don't hear hard knock. I hear a life that's worth living. Thank you, love. Cash, come on. Yes, blue eyes. Just because my father decided to live in it, just because my mama decided to live in it, just because a great granddad tried to, decided to live in it, just a great grandma decided to live in it. Thank you so jazzy. Just because the people that I knew my whole life and existence decided to live in it doesn't mean I have to be the new you. Be the new you. The one that has knowledge enough to understand what their value is. Be the new you. Know your value. Know your worth. And walk in that very thing that has been called for your life. And do not let anything stop you. But Candy, I got kids. Don't let it stop you. Candy, I don't have money. Don't let it stop you. Candy, but I'm not in a relationship. Don't let it stop you. Candy, I was abused when I was younger. Do not let anything stop you because you were still cold. I'm going to let you in on a little secret right now. Every single excuse that you could give me for you not to be your new you, you was called before that very thing. You was already purposed to walk in it before the very excuse that you're going to give me. Now that might blow your mind for some people, but I'm just letting you know. Everything that you could say to me that would stop you from being the new you isn't going to work. Oh, Cola! Thank you, love. It's not going to work. Because you was already called to be that thing. Yes, love. Thank you. Thank you, love. You was already called to be that very thing. Before it even happened. So give me another excuse because it's not going to work. It's going to be okay. A person to tell me, King, stand up straight, stand up tall, love. Your divine masculinity demands you to. You're so much more worthy than what you have been taught. I didn't have somebody to say, Queen. 
the almighty womb rests inside of you. You have a glory. You have an essence about you that you can survive some things, that you can deal with some things and it come to pass. You are glorious. I didn't have anybody to tell me, so I will live my life, my very last day to my ending breath, to encourage others and uplift them and stand against what the world says that you are, that you're not. I will forever be that way. I will forever love you all unconditionally. And as many times as I get a chance to get up on here and tell you how extraordinary you are, I will. Until my very last breath. I love you guys. I love you. <laughs> so be your new you because you deserve it. It's who you supposed to be. It's who you was written to be before you was conceived. So you can't have any excuse not walking in it.